Hello there, my name is Jason Caldwell and I'm the lead developer for the S2 member plugin for WordPress. In this video, we're going to cover S2 members API scripting section. And you can find this section by going to your main S2 member menu and choosing API scripting and that will bring you to this page where you'll find all of these subsections. Now the objective in this video is not to go over any one of these in great detail. This video is designed to give you as a site owner or possibly as a developer working on a client project, it's designed to give you a big picture of what is actually possible using the S2 member framework. If I read through these sections as a developer, is it going to be worth my time when I'm done having spent this, this additional time learning how the framework actually functions? How much time is that going to save me? Am I going to be able to accomplish my goals for the client that I'm working on the project for? Okay, and my objective here is to show you that yes, you will be able to do that because we have to gone to great lengths to make sure that S2 members is extremely friendly to developers. So although S2 members built in UI panels accomplish a preset set of levels and are designed to accomplish you know, many, many tasks that are common across membership sites, there are many cases with where you have a specific goal or a specific demand from a client that needs to be adjusted, where you need to adapt S2 member to make it work for something unique to your project. So this is our attempt in this section to make all of that information that you need in order to accomplish that available. Now I'm going to skip right over the first one here because this is just detailing the easy way where you don't really need any of this. So if you were to come here as a novice user, we don't want to totally scare you to death. We want you to read this section so that you know S2 member can easily be adjusted from these general options, your PayPal options, all of these more basic uh, functionality sections. Uh, as a novice user, we don't recommend uh, going over all of this because it's not likely that you will get a good, a real good grasp on what we're talking about here. All right, now we're going to skip right into advanced conditionals. Advanced conditionals are the application of two PHP functions built into WordPress's framework. They are is user logged in and current user can. Now these require the, a plugin like exec PHP because you need to be able to execute PHP code like the snippet you see here into a post or into a page. Now if you're only going to build this into a theme then you can skip this section or you can skip this plugin but if, if you're planning to use this in a post or a page you will need this plugin. Uh, this makes it possible to execute PHP in posts, pages, and also in, even into text widgets if you need to. Okay, and, and then when we talk about an advanced conditional, all we're really saying is that it's a PHP tag where you're asking if something is true or not. And if it is true, you're going to show one thing, or, which would be represented by this line, a section of content. And if it's not, we'll show something else. So there's several examples here where you can test whether a, a user is logged in and if they are logged in, if they have a certain capability. So you use the current user can function for that. And then down below, there's some examples that use advanced conditionals in conjunction with S2 members API constants in PHP, which are documented a little further down. We're going to go over those in a moment. Uh, also at the bottom of this advanced conditional section, there are some details that describe how S2 members membership levels provide incremental access so that a level four member would, will automatically have access to levels three, two, one, and zero. Okay, and the same would be true if you're at level two, you would have access automatically to level one and zero. So this is important information to be aware of before you start going in and writing advanced conditionals. You need to know what it is that you're actually saying in one of these statements. For example, if I say if the user is logged in and the current, and the current user can access level two, that doesn't actually mean that the user is at level two. It just means that they can access level two. They could actually be a level four member, okay, which is why in this example we start by testing for four and then work our way down. Now another way to accomplish this, which is not documented here in the examples, but I'll go ahead and show you, is to remove the access portion from the beginning of this statement and instead say if current user can just S2 member level two. And that would ask if they are exactly at level two as opposed to asking if they can access level two. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and collapse this and move on. And down here to custom capability packages. In the next segment of this video, I'm going to describe the reasons why custom capability packages are recommended instead of 
you're trying to extend S2 member out into a fifth, sixth, seventh, or, or beyond into terms of in terms of levels. I'm going to go over this in, in a little bit more detail, and then I'm going to do a separate video on this topic as well. Okay, we'll do that in the very next segment.